back. Here's a look at our tower cam time lapse in Fargo. We had mainly cloudy skies out there for the day today. Wind not that bad, mainly between 5 and 15 miles per hour, but it was from the north, so it kept us cool with that high near 50 in the Fargo area, 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. As of right now, we are down to 48 degrees, but skies have become mostly sunny. Wind northwest at 7, with Moorhead holding at 45 degrees, and taking a look up toward Grand Forks at 46, with mostly cloudy skies. Current temperatures look like this. We are seeing uh, a 41 at Valley City and Devils Lake, 45 at Jamestown Langdon at 39 degrees and into Lakes Country and into Northland, Minnesota, low to mid 40s as of right now. And here's a look at the wind speeds out there, mainly from the north and most places you look between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Now the satellite loop over the last hour or so shows that we had the clouds that they're starting to dissipate moving to the north. A few clouds just to the north of Fargo and Devil's Lake with some sprinkles and some flurries as you make your way up in Canada around the Winnipeg area. Now high pressure is working its way and it's to our north. We have that northerly flow that we get when a high works in. That's why it's cool out there. As the high crests over us, we'll see clearing skies. We go through the overnight period and eventually the high moves away. We have that nice southerly flow that will warm us up nicely and we're tracking this low pressure system that will give us some rain as we go through the day on Tuesday. Here's a look at Matthew right now. It did skirt the coast and it made landfall around the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area. Now is going to move off the coast. Still a hurricane at 75 miles per hour, but if it does weaken further, it will become a tropical storm as it does track off to the east. Still seeing some heavy rain into portions of North Carolina right now, along with the uh, wind speeds at hurricane strength and uh, up the coast. We are also seeing some rain up into the Washington, D.C. area and into uh, southern New Jersey. Now, as for us, as we go through the evening, clearing skies, another cool overnight period. That wind will flip around to the south as we go overnight, though. Lows near freezing in most areas you look. Now, we're going to see plenty of sunshine as we go through the day tomorrow. Temperatures will rise pretty nicely by the afternoon into the upper 50s to near 60 degrees in most areas. And then as we go through the overnight period, we'll see a clearing trend and cool temperatures again. Starting off tomorrow into the lower 30s. Partly cloudy skies turn mostly sunny as we warm up 51 by around noontime and into the lower 60s, mostly sunny and breezy with a southerly wind in the Fargo area. Elsewhere across the Southern Valley into the lower 60s in most places, mostly sunny skies, upper 50s and lower 60s into lakes country, breezy everywhere you look with that wind flipping around to the south and pumping in that warm air, upper 40s to mid 50s into Northland, Minnesota, and it will be warmer tomorrow compared to today into the Northern Valley as we'll be into the mid to upper 50s. Here's the hour by hour forecast for tomorrow. We got mainly sunny, or for Monday, mainly sunny skies and temperatures getting all the way into the lower 70s. And then for Tuesday, we have a chance of some rain showers, a high back to only near 50, 52 on Wednesday, mostly sunny, mostly sunny Thursday, 57, 64 on Friday. We stay dry, mainly sunny and partly cloudy next Saturday, warming up even further, a high of 66 degrees. So it's it's a little back and forth, wouldn't you say, because it was down mm -hmm. in the 30s early, like uh, a couple of days ago. Yep, and we're, we're going to see this as we go through October, kind of like a roller coaster up and down. We're on the warm swing for tomorrow and Monday. Okay, so no sweaters, but then sweaters at the end of the week. Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Justin. Up next, a report from the Carolinas where Hurricane Matthew made landfall this morning.